Red Hook is located on the East Coast in the Mid-Atlantic region of the United States within the New York City borough of Brooklyn. It is located roughly two miles from Manhattan and is situated on the New York Harbor. The neighborhood retains its isolated feeling as opposed to other Brooklyn neighborhoods because it is not easily accessible by subway. The nearest subway is a good 15 to 20 minute walk from the Carroll Street or Smith and 9th Street stations. The easiest way to get to Red Hook is by car, and surprisingly, street parking is not too hard to find. You can also take various buses to get to the neighborhood from the subway. Additionally, you can take the New York City Ferry and it will drop you off right in the neighborhood along the water. Hey everyone, so where we are today is Red Hook, Brooklyn. So what is Red Hook, Brooklyn? Well, it's kind of a gritty representation of an industrial past. So what you will see in Red Hook is you're gonna see a mostly industrial area littered with old and new brownstones. So the neighborhood has its beginnings at the early advent of settlement here in New York City. So the Dutch were here and they called it Red Hook because of the color of the clay. So under all these buildings is red clay. So that's where it comes from. And hook represents a hook-like landform that juts into New York Harbor, which are right near. So the neighborhood has a very interesting past, right? So when it was first developed, um, it was mostly rural for a while, right? And it, then after the Industrial Revolution, a lot of industry and shipping came to Red Hook. It kind of was like a sailor town here in Brooklyn, right? So it was gritty, it was industrial. It was not somewhere you really wanted to be. Um, a lot of immigrants made their home here. And as early as the 1890s, there was a lot of African-Americans living in this community. Um, the community has remained poor and slummy for most of its history. I mean, even up to the mid-1990s, this was considered a slum. This is somewhere you didn't want to go. This is somewhere that was very dangerous, very not appealing, not somewhere you would want to go, not somewhere you would let your dog walk, basically. But the neighborhood has changed tremendously in the past 20, 30 years. Uh, you're going to see that as you go. And what I think makes Red Hook so interesting, as opposed to other gentrified Brooklyn neighborhoods, is that it still maintains its grit. It still maintains its industrial vibe. I mean, if you were walking around here, you might think, am I in a good neighborhood? Am I in a bad neighborhood? But it's a very interesting neighborhood. It's a safe neighborhood. I'm walking around here. It's fine. Um, but you're going to see that history when you walk around. So let's get started. Now, Red Hook is known for an amazing food scene. So it may not look like it, but we're gonna continue down the main avenue, which is Van Brunt Street, and you'll see there's a bunch of different foods. Um, it's new within the last 20 years or so, but now this place behind me, DeFonti's, this is a sandwich shop that is very well known in Brooklyn. This is one of the best places to come when you're here in Red Hook, and it gives you some of the best Italian sandwiches in Brooklyn. And it's been here for decades, so definitely check this out when you're here, guys. Now, Red Hook is a very interesting neighborhood because you're going to see a big difference between the demographics of the people who live here. So, 
Red Hook is home to one of the largest public housing complexes in New York City, right? So you have a lot of low income in one area of it. But it's interesting because across the street and literally less than a block away, you have very high income people and in housing. So this is newer, right? This has been going on in the last 10, 15, 20 years or so. But it's interesting because you'll see some really old kind of workman's cottages next to public housing next to some high-end, fully rehabbed, gutted brownstones that are completely modern. So you really get a very big diversity in socioeconomic status in, in Red Hook. And it's, it's very interesting because considering such a big diversity, the neighborhood remains pretty safe and the people coexist. So it's a great kind of urban experience to see really. So take a look guys. things you're going to notice when you're here in Red Hook is the difference between the old and the new and that really reflects the neighborhood's history so like I mentioned before it was started by the Dutch and it was largely rural until the Industrial Revolution then it became a shipping area right and an industrial area so that attracted a lot of working-class immigrants so you had African-Americans and you also had a lot of Italian and Norwegian at one point, but these, these were low income Italian, Norwegian, and African American. So the neighborhood remained very poor and unsafe up until relatively recently. And you're gonna kind of see that as opposed to other gentrifying neighborhoods, right? They're, they're kind of more well-established. This feels newer, this feels grimier, this feels prettier, right? But it makes it cool. I mean, you're gonna see the graffiti you're gonna see the more independent and weird quirky shops. You're gonna see the sculptures. You're gonna see the industry mixing with the residential. And you're gonna see the difference in socioeconomic groups of the people who live here. And I think it makes it really interesting, right? Because it's not just completely gentrified. It's a mix of people. Okay guys, so where we're gonna go next is we're gonna go to Van Brunt Street. So Van Brunt Street is basically the main commercial corridor here in Red Hook. But what's interesting about Red Hook is you can go on any side street and you can find like a random bar, a random restaurant, or like, you know, a, a random art gallery. It's not just stuck on one commercial corridor like many neighborhoods are. So. I'm gonna show you Van Brunt Street and that's the main area, but I really encourage you when you come here to look at all the areas, you know, explore, go in all the di different nooks and crannies of the neighborhood and you'll find like all this random stuff. So make sure you do that. Let's head over.
Okay, one pretty quirky thing about Red Hook is there's this one open lot called the Manger Cat Park, right? So it's basically an open lot, right? But um, there's a manger here and it's open all year round. Um, we are here right for Christmas, so it's actually decorated, but it's a manger basically, and the owners feed these like random stray cats, and there's always these cats in here. So take a look at this now. See the one cat sleeping? So sometimes if you come, there's several cats, but today we only got one. So check that out when you're here. That's on the corner of King Street and Van Brunch Street. Interestingly, since Red Hook is right by the water, it's kind of become a place in Brooklyn to get seafood, particularly lobster and crab and shellfish. Uh, so I actually come here myself when I want to get seafood. So one place I recommend is right here on Van Brunt Street. It's called the Red Hook Lobster Pound. So that's really good. I'm going to show you another really good place later called Brooklyn Crab. So that's another really good one I recommend when you're visiting here. Take a look. Now guys, at the very southern end of Red Hook, there's a small park called Pier 41 Park. So we're in it now, it's pretty interesting. It's real small and it's kind of hidden and tucked away, but what's here is a pretty interesting maritime museum. It's small, but it's interesting to see. Um, and then you also get amazing views of New York Harbor and the Statue of Liberty. So you walk down here and there's a pier and then you Pretty cool, go to the museum, it's short, super small. Go there and then take a look at the Statue of Liberty in the harbor. Uh, we're here on a pretty gloomy day, but um, if you come here like on a nicer day, it's very nice. So check that out when you're here. Okay guys, there you have it. This was Red Hook. Red Hook is one of my most favorite neighborhoods in Brooklyn, one of my most favorite neighborhoods in the world. I mean, what I like about it is that it blends so many different things. You know, the sculptures, the 
you know, the independent art galleries, the bars, the restaurants, the nightlife, the quirkiness of it all, the grit of it all, plus the modern, plus the new. Um, big range of people, big range of culture, and it's, it's just really one of those interesting neighborhoods. Um, I highly suggest you visit it when you come to New York or Brooklyn. It's definitely something to see. Okay, guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, like this video, share this video, leave me a comment below. Let me know anything I missed or uh, your your comments on navigating Red Hook. Um, also, take a look at the description. Um, there's a link there where you can buy a bunch of cool stuff about Red Hook. So, guys, until next time, thanks. Bye.